Just run straight, straight through. Oh, yep, straight through everything. Gonna go upstairs again. It's like a bad horror movie. We're doing nothing but, oh, sprinting upstairs. Is this, this, this the wrong room? This is the wrong room. This is the wrong room. Wait for it. Oh, around, around we go. Oh, bad idea. Real bad idea. G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jill Woodle, and welcome to day one of what's going to be a very, very challenging run through of seven days. Welcome to Demolisher Only. As the name implies, all of the zombies, all of the humanoid zombies in seven days have been turned into demolishers. There's no regular zombies anymore, but like the animal zombies are still a thing. But everything that I come across is going to be explosive. So that's going to make, especially starting out, incredible incredibly difficult. I have played, I'm gonna get started actually, I have played a couple of different versions of the Demolisher only a while ago now, a long time ago, with just some cheeky XML editing. But now, uh, some legend named Ryan Face Scotland has made a proper mod to turn those edits into an actual mod. So it's like nice and easy to install now. And I couldn't let that go by without giving it a red hot crack. Chuck down my purple bedroll, just like you. I have no idea how I'm going to do anything. Like raiding any building is going to be such a challenge for me. Because how am I supposed to take down a demo with nothing but some fleshy fists? I can throw away the note from the Duke. I can throw my land claim block as well. I can get more of those later if I need. So not only, not only have I turned all of the zombies into demos, I've uh, chatted to my good mate Kane, the modding genius that he is, and uh, sprinkled a little bit of something extra onto Horde Knight. I normally I just wait to show you what that is later on down the track, but for now, I think I'm just gonna like cut this little clip. This is the video that I sent him when I was testing it to make sure it works. So you can see exactly what we're gonna deal with. It's um it's not gonna be good. Yeah, so just to make things even worse, uh, demos will daisy chain together during Horde Night. So you can set up a whole like chain reaction of Demolisher Zombies, which means that no Horde base I build ever is going to stand up to that kind of destructive power. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for Horde. I guess I might just have to run around and hope for the best, but it's really not looking great for me. Oh no, the zombies have started to spawn. There's already a demo up the hill jiggling about and stomping about. I'm staying well enough away from you. So even like, like a tier one clear zombie quest is now going to be an entire building full of demolishers. Now armored up to anything. There's nothing really to do against them like that. They're super armored, super dangerous. And if I tickle them in just the wrong way, they're going to explode everywhere. It's going to be, it's going to be very, very difficult just to get a foothold in this game. It's, um, yeah. Okay. This is going to be a lot. I've done my tutorial quest. I've got, oh, just about 550 meters to a trader. I don't know what trader it's going to be, but at least know what general direction a town's going to be. I need some more. Ooh, spear. Spear has good armor penetration. That might be a pretty good way to go about it. If I go, oh, if I go spears and rifles... That may not be terrible, but a pipe rifle is terrible. A pipe machine gun is really the only thing worth talking about, but a spear may actually not be a completely awful idea. So I'll grab you. I'll replace you instead of the club just for now. Get my arrows down there so I can see how many I've got left and keep my pockets free. Yeah, all right. And actually, this is Alpha 21 where there's no longer the stupid throwing mechanic. Now it's just power attacks. That could be the best way to do it. And even then, even if it doesn't work out, at least I can touch the nips from a long way away and let them pop off, hopefully a decent distance from me. In fact, I'm gonna really gamble on that idea. Gotta go skills, I've got the four skill points for doing my tutorial. Gonna go straight into spears. At least to try and get some of the spear magazines to make a better one at some point soon. Uh, what else do I need? I'm definitely gonna need actually cardio. I'll take you. And probably even like, Oh, maybe even like parkour as, as if I can jump onto something and stay away from the demos, get lots of headshots. That might be a decent idea. But I think I need level two of you. Yeah, it's a long way to go up. Actually, it's a long way to go. Penetrator. Penetrator, absolutely great idea. 20% on anything. Yes, please. Armor reduction. I don't, uh, the last one, we'll go rifles. We'll go rifles. Rifles and spears. 
It's been a long time since I rolled with those, but I think for this particular case, that is going to be my best move. At least I really hope so. So I should mention, I've got this set to just normal default difficulty. Demos are going to be difficult enough for me already. So default difficulty, default speed settings, but I have turned up XP to 300% to try and get some progression because zombie killing is going to be such a difficult challenge for me. Like this, do I try and... Do I try and bank or protect? Oh, actually, I should put some points in the archery to get those juicy headshot uh, decapitations. Because, yeah, um, this isn't going to work out super well. Oh, my goodness. Super well for me. Oh, yep. No. Nah. <laughs> this is... This was a bad plan. This was a bad plan. It's going to be the tickle and spin. Tickle and spin. Just try and keep some sort of distance between us. That's why I wanted the cardio skill to try and keep my stamina up. If I run out of stamina, I die immediately. So let's try and avoid that for as long as we can. <laughs> it's going to take a long time to weigh you down, isn't it? A long bloody time. Like water over sandstone. Potentially, though, because they are relatively slow, because they don't count as a feral zombie, so they just kind of... Oh, my stamina's gone. Uh, they just kind of stagger about at a regular speed. If I do find a pipe rifle, I'm going to... Oh, I find any gun, really, to be honest with you. I'm going to use it. But a pipe rifle might work because I do have enough time to reload it and spin around and hit him again. So, okay. I'm not... Oh, oh my goodness. He almost clapped me. Literally almost clapped me right in the schnoz. But I might actually have a chance of this. I'm just going to be patient, which is not my strong suit. Got him! Got him! How do you like me now? You flopped over like a wet rag. You're gonna sit there and bake it in the sun, spread little white hairs like you're an ogre. Nice. Okay. One down, lots more to go, but a juicy amount of experience out of that. Because demos give you a lot already. But because it's been tripled, we're gonna get some levels hopefully quickly. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh, he's right there. I didn't even see him. How is a big bus of a zombie like you so bloody quiet? Right, cool. Okay, come and dance on the corpse of your friend. Let's do it all over again. I do wonder if potentially, like, regular spear strokes are going to be better for this than power strokes. Oh, I, I have to check the stats. I have to check the stats on my spear in a moment, but it can't look right now. Oh! You got gibbed. You got absolutely salsified. Gonna dip my chips right in you like I'm making freaking nachos. That's what we love to see. Those insta decaps are gonna save my life. You, 12 damage, 24 and a power attack. So it's just, it's 18 for a regular and then, ooh, 21 for a power attack. Really? So it's only an extra three stamina to use a power attack with double the damage? I guess power attacks are the way. It's the opposite of the sledgehammer. Power attacks or no attacks? I always love the first week of seven days. Every time, I've had, a, I've had a lot of seven days in my life. And every time, I love the first week so much because it just feels so sketchy and so on edge. In fact, I saw, yeah, I did see the green glow of you. are going to turn down the free concrete. It's just, it's so like, it's so anxiety inducing that I love it. And every time I play it again, I get that fizz all... Shit. Uh, okay, I'll hold off on that then. I am not in a position to fight three demos at once. Absolutely not. Uh, I'll have to fight on the way out. I could just try and run back outside, but oh, you don't really stagger at all when I tickle you. I'm, I'm booping you in the schnoot and you don't seem to really care at all. All right, just lure him out. There's, there's no way I can fight three at once. Not in any of my dreams. It's all right. As long as I just take my time, watch my stamina, let it come back up to me again, and wait for my shots. Annoyingly, especially when he's aggroed, he, like, waves his hand in front of his face, and sometimes you stab his thumb, not his nose. Shouldn't take a couple more stabs, I think. There we go. You're all good, just for fun. Can I just go, like, in fact, can I get my, get my palm out and slap some things? There you go. There you go. You're not going to detonate just yet, which is fine. Can't say that for the rest of your friends, though. Click and repair you, because you're all I've got. And then go and try and take on the double arm. Where are you? There you are. Can I, like, lure one out at a time? No, I can't. No, I can't. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Come back out to the front yard again. Oh, my goodness. What am I going to do about this? This is a lot. So we're gonna try and get some extra damage into him early. Use the bow. Take advantage of Damn it, everything that I have. Never mind then. Oh jeez. Oh, is I grow? Is I grow? That's a problem. Is it even a little bit faster? I've got big issues. Just aim for the neck. 
aim for the next one. The wiggly waggly jelly consistency of you won't oh, won't disrupt my um my damage at all. Oh boy. Okay, just let your stamina come back. I do have one water, but I'm getting real thirsty real quick. I'm gonna need some more water. Great. <laughs> Love that for me. If I lose my hydration, I lose my stamina regen. I'm in all sorts of trouble. It's already almost midday. I'm just I'm running out of time. I still have to get to town for goodness sake. This is like the start of POI. These post friends get some basic materials, and I I'm just running out of time. I'm running out of time. Oh! Don't have the stamina to keep going power attacks. I kind of want to just tickle one of you and set you off so I can at least get back inside and keep on looting. But I need that XP. One more kill and I get another level up. <laughs> Come on. One of you has got to go. Surely. My salmon is cooked. I'm about to be cooked. Oh, come on. What if I go like this? What if I set you on fire? That might give me a bit of an advantage. Although, apparently you are very damp because you're just not getting sizzly. There you go. There you go. Got them both. Let some damage over time happen. <laughs> Gotta use everything at my disposal, but I don't have much. There goes one. I've got uh, a skill point to spend. Lovely. You've gone a bit gooey. Oh, oh, I got way too cocky. I thought I had more stamina, but I did not. Can you, you surely can't be too far away. I've been trying to be pretty even about how I'm doing damage, but it hasn't worked. One more? Please, one more. I don't know why I think one more, but I'm really hoping so. Wishful thinking, if you want to call it that. Whoa, one more. Wishful thinking always works. Shit, yeah. So I am actually going to put that point into archery. There's, oh, the crickets are chirping. Not crickets, sorry. The cicadas are chirping. If cicadas actually chirp, but they're making noise to say that it's midday. I've lost so much time. I've lost so much time out here already. There's a cooking book and a potato. <laughs> I mean, I found myself in a cupboard. I'm definitely a potato and not the delicious kind either. See another demo. Ooh, over by the bookshelves. I definitely don't want you to explode over there. Please come over this way, please, so I can have a little dance with you. I need to protect the bookshelves because that's where I learn to do things. Oh, God, you got real close to me, though. We're going to go ring a ring a rosy around the stairwell in the middle. Oh, you're pissed off. You're pissed off and fast. And I'm losing. Uh oh, I'm losing my water, my hydration very quick. Oh, oh God. Ah. Uh this isn't really what I had in mind for today. This first POI is going to take me most of the afternoon. Stand up, please. Seven up. Yeah, you're fine. As long as I can get a good shot on his chin, I shouldn't have to worry too much. If I, oh, if I detonate him, though, this whole house is going to come down. Ow, that hurt. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's two. Um... Oh, God. Well, I, the, the last two took me so long. Got a little bit of time. Search you fast. That was an art of mining book. I might just have to lure you outside and see if I can deal with you out there. I just don't have the time for this right now. I think, still need to get to town and go and find... Oh, yep. We're going outside. Go and find the trader. Do you come with me, please? All right. Come on. You, you all need to come and hang out with me. I'm going to grab some feathers so I can quickly make some arrows. I saw old mate just eat shit over the balcony. That's fine. All right. Let's go for the back one. Nope. Shanked that because he's going to get mad when he gets tickled and he's going to start charging me. Like that. Give a bit of distance. That works. That works. Oh, it actually gave me credits. It gave me the XP for the kill on the other demo. Very interesting. That, oh, that's a much better way of doing it. If I can group them all up, tickle one, and get all the experience for all the extras, that's going to be a much better way of doing it. There we go. We're halfway through day one. and already found the cheese move. Who doesn't love a cheeky bit of cheese? Call this game a pizza. I'd love to find some fluids around here somewhere, or, I mean, steak's all right, but I'm too thirsty to eat that right now. Would have also taken a cooking pot, or anything really because there's some murky water i can't do anything with you at the moment i do i've got two waters plant farmers don't really need you i can get rid of in fact i can just eat you straight away that's going to help me a little bit probably need lead right now i'll keep the cornmeal something i usually sleep on until recently has been the cornbread which actually is pretty decent does make you thirsty but it's actually pretty efficient food and I don't think I'm going to have the choice to have anything else at the moment. Grab you. Any cooking pots? Just a couple of rotten Vegemite sangers. It's a shame. So there's the loot, which means there's probably... Yeah, there you are. A couple of you two. Right, so if I'm... 
One's already woke up. I'll wake up the other one if you guys want to join me down on the bottom again. So I'll pop one and use that to kill the other one. Get the XP out of that. Like, it's it's kind of like investing, right? I'm spending one demo experience to hopefully gain all the others over the balcony you go. Nice work having knees there, dickhead. Look at your friend there. Much better off. Give you a little dab. Oh, no. Oh, he daisy chained again. I thought that was only supposed to happen on Horde Nights. I think I might have broken some code somewhere. Oh, well, it's <laughs> it's too late now. Nothing you can do. We're just going to have to deal with that. So, okay. Turns out the move isn't nearly as cheesy as I initially thought because there is a risk involved. The demos can daisy chain even outside of Horde Nights. Great. Oh, that's a pigeon. Pigeons aren't demos, but that is, uh, that's not good news for me. Rifles, uh, reload faster. Yes, please. A knife. In fact, bleeding damage will probably be a pretty good shout after all of this. I'll eat you immediately. I'll take the ammo. Huh. Well, we've learned some things and things that I didn't particularly want to happen, but, oh, well, gonna roll with the punches sometimes, I guess. Oh, there's a wanderer. A wanderer has just shown up. I've still got the pigeon upstairs dealing with me. I, uh... I've gotten all the loot. I just want to have one last little check of the building to make sure I've got everything I possibly can. I still think, in fact, if I can get you gooey laid jumping off balconies and stuff, that's going to be a much better way than trying to take all nips from range. Shit. Well, this is why we had the spear. Ready? Got him. And just run, just run, just run. Didn't destroy my bed, which is nice. Don't know where that pigeon went either. He's flapping about and squawking up someone else's tree. <sighs> okay. All right. First POI has been cleared. It was not smooth, but we got it done. All right. Well, first POI down. First engagement with the demos down. Time to get on the hop and get out to the next town. I'm going to make myself a ton of bedroll. So, like, this isn't... Oh, jeez. Piss off, would you? This isn't strictly permadeath. I'm going to obviously try not to die, but I am aware that at some point I'm going to get caught in an explosion and it's all going to go. So it'll be a punishment for dying, but I want to make sure I have a bedroll somewhere nearby to not spawn on the other side of the world. You bedroll. It's not a habit I have though. I'm used to playing permadeath only, so planning for respawns <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole new thing. It's a good sized city we're trucking off to as well. Demo down the hill. I'm going to give you a nice wide berth and go right around the outside. It's got some nice tier 5 POIs. Got some skyscrapers. More demos behind me. How am I, hmm, I going to clear a building for somewhere to live? It's got, I mean, I've spent half a day clearing that ski one up the hill and it's already half past three. So I'm not sure I'm going to have the time to do that all over again. Perhaps just like just accepting that the world around my house is going to be cratered like a moon. Nothing but holes in the ground everywhere. I have to like lure them out and explode them. That might be the only option because this isn't win to win anymore. I can't just go live with the trade arm as much as I might wish I could. Need to just check everything on the way through. I can't turn out a cheeky DD or a potentially cheeky DD on day one. Wasn't to be. Mechanical parts and some iron though. I'm... Oh, don't even finish. Go away. I might do some farming later on. I'm not in the right skill tree, but that's okay. That's going to have a demo in and you stay away from there. It's, it changes the dynamics so much. Like, normally, like, what? One random low-tier zombie hanging out in an outhouse? No big deal. You can, like, sort that out very bloody quickly. But now, if I open that door and a demo strolls out like this guy, what am I going to do? I, I'm, I'm going to have to deal with it some way. And try not to let him eat me. Hang on. I need, can I sit you down, please? Oh, he's fast. He's fast. Use the fence to your advantage. Get him staggered a bit and then go back over the fence again. Jump and use his stamina, though. But at least it makes him slow down a bit. Which, at the moment, is really the, the most important thing for me. Oh, uh, look, buddy. I just... I just... I just don't have the time for you. I just don't have the time... He was close. Don't have the time for it. Wasn't even going to try and turn a look at him as he popped because that slows you down. And I didn't have the uh, the distance to play with. There's no look over your shoulder button in seven days. You can piss off. I'll take the paintbrush and the headlights. Anything else around us looking nice and clear. It's, oh, it's so late in the day. It's already 20 past four. And I've done nothing. It's such a slow, hard slog. Oh, this is a rare trade. It's a trade of hue. 
All right, remember the last time I had a trader here was my first, uh, my first Speak trader? Quickly. G'day, knackers. Oh, I'm gonna sell you a whole bunch of... <gasps> I'm gonna sell you a whole bunch of garbage. Look at you. Let's see if... Ooh. Thousand bucks for a rifle. The pipe machine gun always gets me fizzy. But a pipe for a thousand bucks. Here, take that. Take that. You can take that one as well. What else can I sell you? Anything of notes. Robotics parts. Batten parts. Gross. Get that out of me. I'll sell you the brass as well. Bonza, mate. Level up. So, what have I got? I've got $320 redos. I can't do a clear zombies. I could probably do a fetch. Oh, I could do a berry supplies. I'll do the fetch. It's 400 uh, meters away. Ranger station fox drop. I'm actually going to leave a lot of the loot boxes that you have until I'm a higher level. Because I don't, I don't really have a chance of finding something good right now. But what it will give me, guaranteed forge book. Lovely. Thank you. That's a real lucky break, actually. The, tr uh, the broken stations gave me three of those forge books. Uh, forge ahead. Yeah, workstations. So I'm one away from making a forge. That's, that's a pretty good effort for day one, actually. You, I need to find some more stuff to sell, like that brass. Get rid of you. You can have the rest. I will sell... Oh, 20 bucks. I need the money more than oil shard right now. I'll sell you that. I need the nails for uh, storage. I need the ammo. Crush sand. Sell you for 10 bucks. You can only sell in increments of 50, so never mind. You can hold on to that one. If there's All nothing right. else, you best be on your way. Actually, there's one more thing. Are you a man from down under? Would you like a Vegemite Sangam? Right you do then. not. On your way. Disappointing. Disappointing. But where you come from, no one even blunders. Oh my god, you're shitting me. There's a demo at the door. There's a demo at the gates. Okay, come inside. This is going to take some real trickery. Sorry, Hugh, about your compound, but you got to do what you got to do. Get that. Close up behind me. Didn't even close the door. I managed to make it out of the building before he popped. Right. Okay. I, that's a long way to go to try and get that fetch quest done. Do I just... I mean, you've got an attic and you're right next to Trader Hughes. I shouldn't get too attached to any POIs because one wrong step and all of my building will be gone. I guess maybe... Yeah, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. I can't go in through you. You've got to go in through the basements. But it's already half past five. This is going to be a stretch. This is going to be a stretch. I'm going to chuck down some storage so that I can just free up my inventory just that little bit. I'll also chuck down my cheeky bedroll just kind of up and out of the way. Always got to be purple for luck. Put you there. Put you there. You can hold on to... Ooh, double arrows. Something weird's going on there, but that's okay. Keep all of you with me. I'm not particularly hungry. I'll keep you just in case. And the ammo is just in case I find something inside. What... <laughs> I've, I've, I've definitely broken some coding somewhere. This is not how it's supposed to be. All right, everyone. Fast game is a good game. In fact, maybe... Oh, maybe I should invest into stealth. Because then... I mean, I can try and get through places without waking anybody up. I've got one skill point to spend. Now, it's probably not the greatest time to be doing this. But... Agility. Archer has got one. Hidden strike. I'm going to go with... Uh, nah, you know what? I'm going to try and push into perception. If I can get the next level of Spearmaster going, that will serve me pretty well. I heard some snoring. Because old mates, old mates had a bit too much to drink and passed out behind the bar. Some coffee. All right, bud. I'm going to put one through your leg. I don't have the book to slow you down, but even so, you can come outside with me. Away from the bed, away from the storage. Oh, I don't want to pop you inside, though. I don't want to have a desk pop. It's going to damage everything. I need the building. This will do. It's far enough. Except I missed it. Missed it again. Oh, it was way too close. Oh, it was way too close. Oh, yep. See what I mean? The whole world is going to be nothing but bloody craters before too long. But got to do what you got to do because it's already after six. I'll take that. Oh, I've got to clear the whole building before it's safe too. There's no like shortcut. There's no cheeky little shed or something I can live in. It's all or nothing. But it's right next to the trader. Any toilet pistol? No, damn. More murky water. I need, a, I need a cooking pot. I need a forge or just a straight cooking pot. I need those fluids. I didn't find much of what I did find. Or drink you straight away. I did find a mega crush. And are you ready for the worst idea that anyone has ever had in their life? 
Mega Crush makes me super speedy, right? And gives me stamina regen and all the water that I need. So if I drink that, sprint through the building, draw out every demo out into the street, pop one of them, hopefully get like a cluster going, get some XP, but also just clear them all out. That might be... <laughs> My best chance of clearing out this building before the sun goes down. Oh, this is a bad idea. All right, use you. I'm going to roll with the knife, I think, to try and get that extra damage. G'day, g'day. Yep, you're, you've woken up. Woke up everyone, please. Just run straight, straight through. Oh, yep, straight through everything. I'm going to go upstairs again. It's like a bad horror movie. We're doing nothing but, oh, sprinting upstairs. This, this is this the wrong room? This is the wrong room. This is the wrong room. Wait for it. Up. Oh, around. Around we go. Where's up? Where's the next? Where's the next up? Oh, bad idea. Real bad idea. Okay. Um, that might be enough for now. Can I is there a door outside? That looks like a door outside to me. Fast arm. Oh no! <laughs> no time. No time. Um, I might just have to lead you guys back down. I gotta got get outside somehow. I'm wasting my speedy boys by faffing about in here. Come on, faster. 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 Faster, please. Bank on it. There's spikes on the outside. Huh? Oh, I got through. I got through just. That hurt a lot. But we're okay. The demo's gonna get hurt too. There's another demo all the way over there. Come on, guys. It's seven o'clock. I'm real hurt. Those spikes gashed up me legs. Something shocking. Come on. Come on, you lot. Yeah, this way, please. Come out into the open field so I can deal with you all at the same time. Oh, this is such a bad plan. Oh, this is such a bad plan. All right, come around here. Like the old Call of Duty zombies. Get you all nice and grouped up. Missed the nip. That was my chance. Missed it. I'm trying to get the guys at the back rather than the ones at the front. I've got 30 odd arrows to try and do this with. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, they've all chained. One of them died, though. I saw a red blip. Uh, the red loot bag come out. I'm just... Shit. I'm just gonna... Just gonna go, you. Go, you. Run a bit. Run a bit. Sorry, road. Oh, it's already taken a turn. It's already taken such a turn. Come here. Come here. Gone. Sorry from the car. Car's fine. Oh, a couple of red loot bags for me. Thank you for the ammo. Oh, I mean, the loot drops might make this worthwhile. Thank you for that one, too. A slightly better axe. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I saw another one. There you are. I'm still super bloody speedy, so... Missed it. Missed it. There we go. Gotcha. I've got, like, three minutes left of speedy, boys, so I've got to get through the building and draw out the last of them. You got anything behind you there, champ? Oh, no. Where are you? Oh, dear God, not the one I need to get rid of. There's still more. Not now, Big Rig. Wait for it. Damn it. There you go. Get a bit of pace. Oh, those Mega Crushes are so good. So good. I'm going to quickly block up that exit that I made, just in case I need to get out of here later. I'm going to use the double hatches, though. Oh, I need to get rid of the frame of the door. You're gone, because then at least if I need to like, very quickly leave, I can close one of them behind me and stop the demos in their tracks. And the arrow's facing me. There we go. That'll work as a door. All right, where's the way up? Well, that's the way up, but where's the way into the attic? Not in there. I really wish I had done this in a POI that I knew, so I could have done it all in one go. Wasn't to be. This is the one I came and checked. That was the wrong one. I could have gone through there. I was one. Shit. I was one door away. Uh, no, I, I can't. I can't lure you upstairs with me because there'll be more up there and I'll get myself trapped. Come back outside. Gee, it's a long... Oh, there it is. It's a long way to go to get back out in the front, isn't it? It's a long hop. I just want you to go a little bit faster there, champ. So, gonna give you a tickle from range. Get rid of the garden path. That's fine. Run through all of the rubble because I don't have the time to wait for it to come down. Uh, up the stairs through you. If I break those stairs, actually, if a demo does find me up there, they won't be able to come and find me. G'day, g'day. Is there... Is there any ennies? This is why I like addicts, because, oh, it's usually pretty quiet. Is it just you? But before I tickle you there, I'm going to have a little scout around and see if it is just the one. Ah, uh, there's two. There's two. All right. I'll wake up you. I'll, oh, I'll wake up them both. Oh, I'm a bit slow because I was still crouched into the ceiling. Oh, my God. There's three. There's three. All right. Come on, everyone. 
Come out the front, please. Yeah, thank God I didn't leave that other demo up there. That would have been a disaster. Um, I'll wait for you guys out the front with yet another one of your friends. Let's go long. Nah, I missed it. Complete shank. But at least there's four out here to play with now. Hopefully I'll get another loot drop. I've got 15 seconds left of my uh, mega crush of my speedy boys. So I'm going to have to make the best out of this. Oh, I would have thought that would have hit him. I'm a little bit... I'm in a crater. We're all right. Uh, I want to try and get the one at the back. Or... Oh, oh, that was a bad choice. I was going to say, try and hit the one at the front and then run all the way past him and try and lure him that way. Mega crush is gone. Oh, come on, Josh. Hit anything for once in your life. Learn how to get some accuracy, would you? Yeah, not helping yourself at all. You. Perfect shot. Got him. Nice. Good. You're chained. I think you're dead. You're not. That didn't even kill you. You copped two explosions to the face and asked for some more. Definitely gone that time. There's not an awful lot left of you, is there? You've got your right mitt and not much else. I've turned you into a ball. I've t <laughs> it's a stump of a demo. No wonder you're glowing red. I'll be pissed off too. There is a little shed outside, which I'll quickly try and break into. The boards are definitely the right option then. Got a half an hour. So now go and get all my shit. Move it up into the attic. There's a whole lot of that POI left to go and clear. Like to go and do all the looting. I've cleared all the zombies, but not much else. A passing gas, a working stiffs. You want to give me a crucible on day one? That would be the tits, if you wouldn't mind. Or just some better tools. I mean, that's, that's the same kind of tool, but okay. I'll take you. I'll repair you. Did I, did I scrap the other one? I did not scrap you. No point having two of yous. Ooh, do I try and loot this place during the night? I don't think I do. Because if a, if a nighttime demo finds me, trade is going to close. It's going to be all over very quick. Make sure I close these doors so no accidental wanderers come through the front. I'll quickly check the bookcases. Grave digger and spear hunter. Not usual for me to be excited about spear hunter books, but first time for everything, I suppose. Nothing really fun out of you. Where was the kitchen? That's not too bad because I really need to hopefully find myself the cooking pot. No, nothing. Fridge. Go faster, go faster, go faster. It's about to be night time. More cornmeal. Another book. A potato. And that's about all. That's about all. I got five minutes to get upstairs. Oh, did I check the garage? I didn't. I didn't check the garage. I'm not going to check it now. I'm going to reinforce that door just in case. And there's the night time. Time to get upstairs. My welcome is well and truly over. I need out of here. I really want to. I just want to get rid of these stairs just here. If I can get rid of the stairs, then the, the demos don't have a way to path up to the attic at all. I'll get rid of these. Also get rid of the ladder that leads up there. So if I do make a bit of noise, if I kick a can or something like that, like I'm singing a Queen song, and someone does know that I'm upstairs, they can't just path up to me. They'll tear the building to shreds. To shreds, you say. But they won't get there nice and quickly. I might have some time to gather some possessions and get out of dodge. I should have done this first. Oh, I go straight out of the attic. Actually, I should have done this before I looted the bookshelves. But uh, well, hindsight's always twenty twenty. It's the only kind of vision I have that is. It's very dark. I'm gonna risk it to search this bookcase. So I need one more. <gasps> You're shitting me. I was gonna say I need one more forge book to be able to make the forge. And if I get the forge, I can make myself. Um, well, my, my cooking pot, that's what I'm looking for. You, oh, for goodness sake, Josh, crouch, please. You need to go. I can make that jump, but a demo can't. And I guess this is where we're going to be living for a little while. It's not much, but at least it's something. Chuck down some storage in the corner. We've got a couch to sleep on. Yeah, right, dude. This is, I mean, look, I've, I've stayed in worse places. This is fine. Even got a window to watch the sunset. Beautiful. Got my bed rolled down, which is fine. There's some garbage left in the heat events. Just some lead. I haven't looted the, the main loot room yet, so hopefully... Medical journal. Hopefully some good stuff in there for me. How long do I... How many do I need to make? I need two more medical journal books to get the first aid bandos. An, incre an incredibly valuable thing to have, especially given how bad I'm paying from those spikes. I'll take all of you. I don't... 
want to use you just yet. I'm gonna save those first aid, those precious first few first aid bandos for when I really bloody need it. Bar brawling. Cheers for that. I don't think I have any shotgun rounds, but thank you anyway. Also, the pipe shotgun is worthless even as a paperweight. It's 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 garbage. It's not. I don't really want to use it at all, especially against the demo, but potentially I could use that to, to hit their tits instead of having to use the bow and arrow. That might work out for me. Sham white box with a sham chowder. Not so bad. And some crossbow bolts, lights, and bullet cases. Okay, well, I'm going to scrap you just for the brass so I can sell that. Not great loot, but I'm just, I'm just happy to be alive. What a first day that's been. So I do actually have nine shotgun shells, so I'll grab you. I don't know which of these buttons work, so I'll just make sure you're both locked in. You can go to them. In fact, that torch can probably get chucked up on the wall, I guess. I'll chuck you over there, so I'm going to stay far enough away that my stealth is still pretty good but i can stay far enough away oh to actually see all right are we good are we fine i think we are oh i need to lie down it takes five small stones to make a land claim block but it also takes five to make a campfire i'll make you first two bits of coal give me three stones i think no you only give me one now Oh, maybe it's frames that does that then. Two frames gives you three wood. Thought of the plot of you two, but I guess not. Don't want to be wasteful there. You guys can go back into there. Thank you. And I'll turn that into a land claim block. I'm just going to try and claim this place as my own. I know the bedroll does do effectively the same thing, but I don't really want to risk it. I, in fact, where's the center of this building? Center of this building is probably around about there somewhere. Center of the POI grounds, which is over this way. Watch the marker flip. Right about there. Perfect. You'll do nicely. I'm going to put you right in the corner here. And this whole place will be mine. I'm actually going to take that torch back down. Because now that I've done some things, I don't really need to see anymore. I'm just going to sit in the corner. 1% visibility. And look out the window. Have a little cheeky peep and see if anyone's cruising around out there. Just a bunch of holes in the ground. Oh, this is going to be intense. But I like that I know that I can do that. If I can group them together, at least I can get some experience out of it. It's a much quicker way of doing it than just grinding them down with the spear. And I still think the spear is the right call. Oh, man. That's, this is going to be a lot. This is going to be a lot. But I'll have to come back and continue to dive face first, nose first, directly into the soggy gooch that is demo only in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.